Welcome everybody to another Let's Play. I am Bones. We are going to do Nova Drift, um, a sci-fi roguelike. We're just going to dive in here. So, basically, the idea is that this one is quite a... Uh, quite a... Uh, I sh we'll start with Endless. I feel like I could do practice, but let's not. Let's start with uh, this. Start. Phew, so thrust fire. Oh my god. Alright, so. S fires. Alright. So then we need to. Uh, we need to move here. So let's move, guys. Um, first of all, love the lighting. Very cool. Oh no. So we're gonna get these little orbs here. You get these orbs when you kill enemies, guys, and they... I'm already getting my ass kicked through here. We're gonna get these orbs, and the orbs are for upgrades. So we're going to press... Let's get out of here. Um, I did read the basic how to play this, so really there's no reason for me to be sucking this bad, you guys. Oh no! I think I'm gonna die quickly, but uh, I'm learning... The controls here, that's my contention that I'm sticking to, is that's what this is. Thank God it does freeze for a moment. So, uh, re-rolls. Let's find out how to do re-rolls and what all this does. Let's start here. You earn an upgrade point, which can be used to change gear or purchase a mod. Gear, press your weapon buddy and shield, you always want to each. Choose new weapon gear now. So, we have a pulse. A railgun or a torrent. Uh, let's try a railgun. I'll try that. Um, yeah, now, see, there's a lot of cool stuff here. So I'll click that. Oh my god. Okay. So this is a bit, actually, I feel like this has some little bit of it that's a kind of asteroids from Atari. I was at one point quite a decent asteroids player. Obviously, it's been a while. This thing makes shrapnel, which is good. Oh no, you dork. Don't do that. Now I also get a new body gear. Uh, fragile definitely would not be good. It is shield damage resistance, shield effect radius, and shield power. I minus my rate of fire. And shield durability. Okay, so there's. These bodies all have negatives. Well, but. Um, I feel like with the stronger shield. Come on. Very good. We have the cat now up here. They're all good. Let's read these. And, uh, hi. You'll see there too, we can reroll our upgrades. I wonder. Let's try a reroll and see what happens, eh? Alright, buddy, engineer. I feel like I need to worry about that. Oh, folks, we're not fitting your weapon. Now that is a pretty cool thing. These other ones I feel like have too many negatives. I don't dig that, so... We're, uh... Sorry, guys. I do apologize. I know I'm sucking here right now, but you guys, I'm hoping that you will... Forgive me my trespasses a bit here. This is, uh... These are... Holy shit. I got us died. I did. I was awful there. New high score. I am Bones and Gary. I'm Bag. I'm Bag. Awesome. Uh, let us try it again. So I feel like once you get the hang of this, it's going to be pretty useful. I'm also curious there because I see an up and down arrow. So that does that mean. The hang of flying proper. It's weird because so many games I'm used to playing with the mouse. So I think that's where I'm screwing up, guys, frankly. 
So right off the bat, I can do, uh, do I get the four rerolls here? Upgrades one, four rerolls. So railgun, grenade, or a pulse. Yeah. I still like the railgun so far. I feel like it's a, it's a nice, it's got a punch to it, the railgun, you know what I mean? I feel like it's a good weapon. Now one thing I need to do is take some advice here. We're going to do a little maneuvering, guys. I'm not shooting for just a minute. Oh, this is um, because I'm trying to learn how to control this better. I am really loving the visuals for this game. The lights are incredible. Um, very, very nice, man. Digging the lighting a lot. I feel like this is such a cool idea as far as the game goes. It's a mix of a rogue and a shunt. Um, a roguelike, you know? And I can't say I've seen it before. So, now we're going to go to the change of body, the engineer, the stealth, I was digging that, so we're getting the stealth body. And we're going to check out shields, warp, transports you when destroyed, creating a damage pulse on entry and exit. Your teleports when you're destroyed. Okay, this cat's going nuts. Um, temporal, targets projectiles within a shield of upgrades are slowed or reflect. Let's alright, let's do that's all pluses, baby, I like that. Oh, I don't know. Warp seems pretty cool too. It's a deadly pulse. Oh no. I'm actually not sure which one is that. I'm gonna tell you two things. Thing one, I need to quit ramming into asteroids because it sucks. It doesn't do a good thing for me at all there. Uh, but I am digging the graphics, man. They're nice and uh, bright. They're clean. They're exciting. A mod! I finally get a mod guy. Where's my gear now? <sighs> Halo, a string hat ring burns enemies within its radio effect. I keep ramming people, so I feel like that'd be just the bees for the knees, wouldn't it, guys? Choose gear. I want that. I want mod. How about an ally? Or do I want a kitty cat baby? No. Me sleep. Did you not do that? Okay. Do I want a volley? Or do I want these? Um, I feel like the drone will be pretty dang cool actually. So, let's do a drone, man. Let's do a drone. Oh my god, what are you doing? That's me I'm talking about, by the way, not my drone. My drone is actually better by far than I am. I mean, the drone's the MVP here, guys, not me. But I do feel like I do a lot of ramming in the enemies. Not because I mean to. Holy shit, there's so much going on on the screen. I'll tell you one thing, this game certainly has a lot of action, right? Um, Man, what a crazy, crazy game. This is like... I don't even know where to look There's so much stuff going on, but it's at the same point. It's fascinating. Um... No, I need something, dude. I'm getting my ass kicked. Uh, yes, please. I need anything that's going to help my life. One thing the uh, thing said about this that I think is important too is that it said to set myself moving. Oh my god, there are missiles coming. 
happen now. Uh, that I need to set myself basically adrift, if you will, as I'm going. So my bottom part of the screen appears to be my meter. Uh, wow, guys. Very, very... Uh, very, very, very just punchy. Can I do an unlock here? Are there upgrades or unlocks? There's a bunch of this stuff, eh? So uh, I can start with these and then go from there, huh? huh? Let's start with drones. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that is so wicked. I don't know what that enemy is, but holy snikes. They're space dragons. This game has space dragons. Um, I really dig the glowing on this, man. Holy cow, that is wicked. Some of you are probably like, die, you should really be doing. Oh no, rocket drone, see, drone rate of fire. What is this one? That one seems smart, but what about me? What about my stuff? I feel like the halo would be good to have. Uh, what do you got to say? Let's do the halo shield, eh? That looks pretty, uh, pretty badassy. Did I just hit level up again? I did. Well, alright, okay. So, right now the cat is going nuts on my lap here, just purring. So, if I get nano uh, reconstruction, we're gonna get that. And then that will let me. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I already know that I have not read as much as I should have for all these power-ups. But I'm also trying to make this a very interesting video. A very quick video. So I have apparently E. And then R is my home there. So I have these two little nanobots circling me. Um, I will tell you two things here. Thing one is I feel like the... In some games, I feel like this glowing thing is a gimmick. I feel like in some games it doesn't look good, but here it looks really nice. And on top of it, I'm really liking it because I feel like the, uh, nice. God, both these look good. We're going to go with the unlocks though, guys, because I feel like they're awesome. And if you couldn't read what that one does, now my drone is basically as thing as me, so it's like a full ally, and uh, that's just smart to- oh, holy shit, alright, that's just smart to me. Anyways, one of the things the game told me to do, because I read the tips, and I read the how to play, so I wouldn't be- I go in a lot of games blind, but I knew this game looked really, um, you know, really- well. Wow. Yeah, I'm not good enough for that one. A uh, rapid reconstruction greatly improves our generation rate, but you have no shield. Let's actually look at what I'm throwing down here. My body is stealth. My weapon is a real gun. I feel like my weapon I could change. Um, now I have an ally. It's an advanced construct. We have regeneration. We have drones. Now, you can only have one of these three, but you can have as many mods as you want, as long as I am aware that not all of these do purely good things. Some, in fact, do bad, too. So you gotta read them all. So I have an ally. I have drones that uh, orbit me. They're pretty cool. Nanotech. And then this evolution one means... Uh, Basically, my drone is as good as me. I can do this to really seep up my drone. So we're going to look and see what the next thing... Nice. 
Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like out of all these right here, Orphan targeting is nice. That's uh, an improves. Oh, okay. All, any of these I can uh, redo here, guys. But I don't like that. Negative velocity, the homing strike. So, we're going to read these over. I know they're not the most fun, but please understand here, what I'm doing is trying to learn. I'm not going to lie, after reading the upgrades, I can get that minor one sound pretty damn sweet. Generation 1. I could fix all that down the road. Rapid Fire is pretty cool too. And a war stack, I don't need to do them anyway. And I just say war stack might be the most badass. But I don't like that rampaging color issue. Uh, Ally focuses on this evolution. I do like the evolution thing here. And our pet. An ally. So double team is another part of that. I feel like interceptor we're gonna go with and I'll tell you why. There's a lot I can do here and I feel like the teamwork I have now with uh, with what I'm doing here is good. I like uh, I like my little ally, I think we're a good team. I am really enjoying this game and I feel like if you look at this run I'm doing far better and it's because I've slowed it down a little I'm uh, paying attention more on the screen. The first run I did, uh, let's be quite honest, I was not great at that. Now, hull strength I thought about picking up. I'm the Juggernaut. My thrust would be slower. But crashing into enemies would help, and I do tend to do that whether I like to admit it or not. Uh, do that rapid reconstruction rate. I wish I could love you, buddy, but I can't. Heal durability. Nice. Now that would be cool. But I don't like that. It means your health strength is weak and you're off shield. Uh, let's start with hull. Hey, I keep looking here, but I'm not seeing anything else here that is making me love it. Um, right off the bat. So we're going to start with that. Now, um, I think this is a pretty innovative game, actually, i got to say. I, uh, I tend to like a lot of roguelikes, and I'll tell you why. Um, I don't know if you uh, watch a lot of videos, but even if this is your first, let me just tell you, uh, I played the original Rogue for the Atari computer, right? I, I am in the Rogue thing deep. Roguelikes, to me, were amazing at the time. When we played Rogue, the graphics were literally like, you know, uh, Goblin was a G, if I remember. B, the letter B was a bat. That's where the graphics were, right? We weren't dealing with the top brass. The graphic design. I don't even think it had. Holy Jesus, those was missing scary. Uh, graphics, that was intense. But what we did have was a game that was very imaginative. And if you're at school, the idea of... Sorry, my cat in the background is beating the holy hell out of the chair. Um, it's an adorable cat, though. I don't mind it. It's very cute. But, uh, and she's a rescue, too. And she's a sweet cat. Um, we support rescues here on Bones and Gary. Do not go to a puppy farm or a kitten farm. Do rescues, guys, please. Um, that's not just trying to be a dopey thing. That's genuinely... You, you please do. Now, this is another one. 
so apparently you can grab some of these things here, and I get what they mean. Um, I was reading that you can kind of do a mix of things here. And they advised uh, in the, see that torrent is one that I think is cool, but I'm telling you man, I'm just, I'm, I'm really digging the different things that I can do. I have drones. And I don't think the drones are my buddy, I think the drones are something else. So, uh, shields. We're gonna go with this one. I would like this one, I think. I'll deal with drones the next time I get there. Is that- oh! No! <laughs> That's a round- <laughs> Holy fudgesicle bug. No, my god, what are you doing? Time your blast, you dipshit. That is an insane. What the fuck is that thing? That's horrible. Oh, that's so mean. What is that? Jesus H, it's so angry. Let's hold this button down. I can't. Oh, god, get out of there. Get out of there. Bones, no. I've always loved you. Don't cry for me. Ever, please. Uh, any of you? They're like, don't worry, nerd, we won't. Um, no, did I lose my- oh, I, I did, you son of a bitch. You know how hard that thing was to get? Not very, but still. Oh, god, I so don't like that. Uh, so one thing. I suck at the thrusts, I think. Yeah, I get it, wise guy. I know someone's gonna be like, sounds like a broken problem. <laughs> and that is how you cut you. But, uh... Yeah, oh, dude, this is such a mean-looking bad guy. Oh, dude, that just sucks. So I'm gonna eat some damage here on this shield, but I feel like we're gonna do the old shump trick of trying to stay on the outskirts. This thing is not taking any damn damage from me almost at all, so the inside seems to be the soft part of the tissue. For lack of a better term, and I don't know what else to do except for eat this damage right now. Man, I'm not gonna lie to you, this thing is just brutal. We're going in, we're going in. Oh god, this is gonna suck! That was not the good way to do it, was it? Yeah, yeah! Unlock some nice shit. Cargo trains unlocked. Unlocked. Salvo! Oh, now that is gonna be awesome. So, Bones and Gary. Bag has done it! So, so far, uh, what do you guys think of uh, Nova Drift? I like it so far. Now, here, this is a feature that is unlocked. So, your challenge mode, so as you unlock, gear unlocks, mod trees, special mods. Um, so I think this is cool, man. I like that we've also got a lot more of these base gear things out. You guys see what I'm saying? So the more you play it, the more other stuff you can unlock. Like, here's a feature, enemy cargo trains now appear on your journey. So we're going to go back, we're going to do practice again. Weapon salvo. That one I'm excited about. Um, I feel like that one's going to be an awesome weapon, so... <sighs> one thing I think I'm going to try to do this time, guys, is I'm going to try to get handling down. I feel like I suck with the thrusters right now. Also, I don't know why the hell I haven't just been holding down this, uh, the fire button. Um, I think I literally forget that I can do that, so... The poor developers watching me butcher their game. I apologize, guys. <laughs> I apologize. Your game is beautiful. Uh, great job. Um, no, it is quite a striking game, though. And again, like I said, what I like about it, flack. Oh, I keep getting curious about 
to this one. Um, the damage isn't great here. It's negligible. I feel like we're dealing here more. There's also tags for each set of weapons. So we're gonna try flak because I haven't seen it yet, so why not? So in the beginning, as you can tell, it seems you dicks. It seems like uh, there's a bit more I need to get better with controlling. I'm not yet gonna do this in Titan level up twice, because then I can do both these things. Get it oh my god, that is so scary. Um, but the flak seems to be a lot like a shotgun blast. But the first thing I'm going to focus on when I can is controlling these thrusters better because I did not realize there were bosses in this game and that thing tore my ass up. It treated me like I treat pizza when I'm hungry. It was just bad. That thing just wasted me. Speaking of pizza, god. Pizza sounds good. Anyways, um... Uh... As I was saying now, uh, roguelikes have always appealed to me, um, and I'm actually surprised I don't see more space roguelikes. I've seen a lot of roguelikes that are dungeon crawlers, I'm sure. I've played a lot of good ones. I think Elite was the first big space-like one that I came across growing up in Commodore 64, and then my friend had an Amiga, and I was stunned by the awesome Amiga graphics. And then at school again, we had a early version of it on a Commodore computer, not bragging, but you know, we, we had somebody who had control of the Commodore 64 there, um, but the rest were Atari STs with the tape deck. This is an insane wave. Yeah, we're going to go ahead. I need to do something. Let's start with the stealth body here, shall we? Yes, we shall. And the Warp Shield, Temporal, or Reflect? Let's start with the Reflect Shield. I am curious to see how this does, because I need to do something. I'm getting my ever living ass handed to me. Deadly Wake Streamline. So right now, we're just going to do either Shield Effect Radius, Blast Radius, or the Fire Valley Targeting, Shield Temper, Weapon Salvo, the body is soaked. Uh, so for now, let's try and improve thrusters and see how I do with that, guys. Will I still suck? I don't know. Probably. Drones, your thrusters have a wake, which ignites targets. Yes, please, and I just blew up, didn't I? I just blew up. So I seem to be hit or miss here, people. Alright, guys. Now we're going to have some easy scores to beat. So you should definitely pick up Nova Drift. Um, I am actually going to say, this is definitely one to buy, I think. Easy to play. Easier than I'm probably making it look. For one thing, I have to stop moving around the screen. Or I keep going off of it. Um, yeah, I should learn to do that. But I feel like there's a learning curve on the flying. Now, because this game uses just solely keyboard, it's going to throw some people off here and there, probably. Like, even me, but I will say this, it's worth the learning. I feel like it's definitely been good, the learning practice. The learning practice, because that's the term. Oh, titties, look at that salvo. Oh, we, this may be the best weapon ever. So the longer there are no enemies, the more damage this weapon does, guys. So, we like, no, no, engage! Beautiful. Beautiful. I don't need you, I got my cellphones, baby. And I need you to dodge the shit and go and do the thing. Alright. Singing to myself now in the dark. Sentinel. Oh, fear the Sentinel. I don't know if you all know anything about Judas Priest. If you do, you'll like that. If not, wrong with y'all. So, Engineer, so I can get two Constructs, three. Nice, but it's a risk to my shield. How about no? I suck at that. 
think we're gonna do Sentinel. Yeah, I fire slower, but we're going for mobility this time. Holy shit. That tough note. Yeah, I don't know. That's a better nod to that guy that did that. Um, but yeah, so, getting back to my weird shit. Um, two, loving the art. Not just the glow, but the actual art, if you notice. Um, so much variety in the mods, all this stuff, that I feel like I like games like this. Games with a lot of randomness, games with a lot of variety. Replayability nowadays, I think, is more important than ever when most games cost 20 to 60 bucks. Somewhere in that range. Um, I feel like the real value for us as gamers or a customer of any kind, even if you're a casual gamer, even if you play like one or two games a year and you're content with that, which, you know, if you are, no judgment. You do you, boo boo, you know. Um, I feel like that is a good way to be, though, um, about it is that. For me, I always really liked the variety in a game. I liked the idea. Man, I'm loving that uh, those weapon silvers are the shit. I'm sorry, beep beep bleep. Hi, yes. Awesome game. You're awesome. Thank you. No, yes, this game is awesome. Dude. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh. So you could do something to punch the hull up here and shield. So I think this one will be good. Or should I start with an ally? Let's uh, let's start with the me and then we'll work on the other, right? And the reason I say that is because to me, if I'm not willing to work on myself, why should any other ships love me? No, if I'm not willing to worry about this, God. This might be one of my favorite weapons in a shump ever, of any kind. And I keep calling it a shump, but let's be honest here, this is a hybrid, it's not a shump. Um, but it's a hybrid that does it well, you know, I, like I said, this is... Uh, I had to quit playing shumps, because... Uh, when I died in R-Type too many times, I'm not going to kid you, I... I ooh, I was shook. I was pretty pissed off about it, guys, and uh... So, for my own emotional state I had to quit doing some raw. That irritation has got too bad. And I realize I'm getting more irritated playing video games to relax when I'm not relaxing. But this is one of these that I feel like I wouldn't mind because even though I've died quite a few times I still want to keep playing it. And the testament for that is that this let's play right here, you know. Um, I didn't play this game before I did this let's play. I read the basic tutorial of learn to play so I know kind of a roundabout way of what I'm doing. So um like I said, and we're gonna pause it for a minute so I can finish my original thought before I just go off the deep end here, because now I'm like <laughs> um it's a general gist to what I'm trying to say, I think, that to me anyway is so impressive is um I feel like uh, Deadly Wake would be good to do. Let's throw Deadly Wake, can we? Let's throw Improved Justice. I thought I had Improved Justice. Oh, my last guy did. Uh, I feel like... Fall Strength. We could do Juggernaut. With Thrust, no. So let's do... What do you guys think? Let's do Shields, and then we'll do a Drone after. Like I said, I'm trying to improve the... Alright, so let's do ally. Does that shield ability though again? I'm not gonna lie, I do feel like targeting with that other thing would be a beast as well. So uh dude. We'll start with a friend. And then I'll go and do it that after. These, those things are just wicked, man. I, I, I really am enjoying the, uh, the art here. Just, yes, that hurt really bad. I don't think I just died. I did. Well, I'm almost there, guys. Um, but, 
Yeah, I keep getting distracted from how much uh, I'm enjoying the game. But, like I was saying now, um, so roguelikes. Digging, seeing a space roguelike, and I'm shocked. Now, there are certain elements I think a lot of space exploration games have taken and done. From Elite, for example. A lot of the, here's a ship, start off in my galaxy, good luck, sort of thing. But, uh... And at the time, nobody could figure out how in the world you could fit this giant galaxy in a friggin' floppy disk the size of a dinner plate, because I am playing with you all. Those things you had to put in your Trapper Keeper. And kudos if you all know Trapper Keepers. Weapon, uh, Salvo, without even blinking. I don't even need to worry about that. That's the one. That's my, that's my jam. That's the one I like so far. That's the one every time I'm gonna pick. You gotta ask me twice, that's my jam. Oh shit. I did I said that's my jam, then whack. Okay, so I need to worry about two things more. If you look down there you'll see you know, this little thing from my shield. I'm not paying good attention to that guys, and I need to. And we're gonna start here because to start with this seems like a good one. This one has worse shield uh and as we can see, I suck with my shield and how I manage it. I'm awful, my I should be... Um, using my shield, what the hell? I'm awful, my poor shield, what did this do to me? Nothing, what have I done to my shield? Everything. I'm sorry, shield, I love you. I don't really love you, you're in timeless, but... I appreciate you, shield, I appreciate what you do for me. Thanks, boo-boo. Um, but what I feel like a lot of them haven't done is take the randomness, the variety that you could really do hmm. I also didn't read this one at the head of Sterling Jane should durability while in contact with enemies. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna try something new here with the shield because that's the only way you learn, you know? I also like that all of these things drastically change the color of my ship. Um, the layout, the body, if you notice, is different than it was last time. I also need to start getting these Pokemons. I'm not getting all my little... Oh, and I'm ready for my first mod, guys. You're coming at me pretty heavy with things. Um, we're going to do something different here. We're going to try mines for a change. Why not? I dig the mine I do, guys. Engage. So this is sort of a set it and forget it weapon, I notice. The longer you don't attack, the bigger the attack you will launch is. So for that end it's a little tricky. Um, and I need to get a better rhythm going, which I like I shouldn't really be standing still ever at all. That's one of the first tips this game told me. Um so no, I think this game, for the fact that it is so varied and different, um so I'm trying to have two conversations with you. I'm trying to explain what I like and what's going on in the game and all that stuff. And while I'm doing that, also pay attention to the joyous things that I'm seeing here. Um, uh, so let's see where we're at. Retribution. Uh, digging that, sure. Making my mind work smarter, not harder. Makes sense to me. So that's pretty cool, man. I dig that. Oh no, you will not be shooting me today, Onion Man. I don't know why I decided that my main man I just did. And we're gonna get the drones going here. We're gonna get the drones going here. Get away from me. Both of you, little imposters. We're gonna get the drones going away from me. There's both of you little guys. Hi. The Barry and Marty. I decided their names are Barry and Marty. Now, the A button will hit. So A is uh, back in the a little bit of the S here, and there we go there. Yeah, I definitely... You! 
center of a biscuit. And not even a chicken biscuit, those are like nasty ass ones that are always too dry and, they, and you need like a bunch of juice to wash them down with because they're just they're not a good biscuit at all. One of them. I thoroughly thought my biscuit came out today, as you can tell. Um, yeah, can we talk about the cool space dragons too? I'm really digging that. Uh, so we're going to get my drones going. I feel like I'm on a good thing for some of this. Uh, now obviously two things that I would like to do are the Oh no. Instead of firing bullets. I would rather they fire missiles. They might be slower, but at least they're gonna be between me and them, it's gonna make a raining hail of death down upon the enemy. And I think that is just badass, and I like it. Also, man, I'm totally digging the, uh, just, look at that. Mwah! Um, again, I think it's cool, too, because, um... Hmm. No-brainer right now, it's gonna be this one. Let me read this one. On... Detonation mines fire your weapon in radial spread. There's no reason to not love that. None. Um, so that is going to be my mod. So now the mods I do have, I've tried, if you notice, to put a lot of... A lot of strength in them. A lot of work in them. Strength, even. Strength. And now we're going to do this last one of auto mines. Um, and yeah, they're not as smart, but again, yet one more thing I ain't got to worry about paying attention to now. So my mines will be all over here, and now bad guys will be passively getting attacked left and right, which is just awesome. And if you see when they blow up, they shoot my weapon all over again, which is insane amounts of awesome. So we're gonna... Oh, my God, dude. I'm loving it. Um, you'll also notice we haven't had the option here to do the ally before now. Um, now this one here is almost a no brainer to me as well. Um, advanced engineering. I'm not seeing anything else here that I really at the time other than targeting would also be cool because homing strips would be awesome to hit things with broadsides and uh yeah let's hit these we already have our drones going right so why not really work these drones like the little badasses they are, and get a move. And also, again, I need to stop sitting still. The one thing they vastly tell you not to do in this game is sit still, and yeah, I should know better anyway, if you're playing R-Type for years and all this. And not do that nonsense. So yeah. But man, the rain of fire I am putting on these people just... Samuel L. Jackson level shit going on here, guys. It's amazing. So now we have rapid fire volley velocity, regeneration of shield durability. Let's see. Shield disability here seems like a no brainer. I tend to rely on my shield quite a bit because, try as I might, I still suck with uh, flying and using the thrusters, which again, sorry, developer, I'm probably butchering this game if you end up watching this ever. If not, you know, I'll be you, but if you do, uh, one lovely game, thank you, uh, for the uh, amazing work you've done on the art, especially on the art. It's very, very nice. 
Um, but geez, oh, Pete, this game is just serious levels of ass whoopery and just mwah, loving it. Some serious fun here, and I think I just leveled twice, guys. So I'm gonna grab all this. Oh, yes, sir, ma'am, and everybody. We got ally. Defense drones, reinforced drones, regeneration, and we're gonna make my shields do even more work for me now. No, do you see that? That co oh, check these things out, man. It's a new enemy, is it not? Um, they might have been seen a little, but I don't recommend being seen. Please don't have this bad guy come just yet. Let me level a little more. I, I have a, another power up thing. I'm would like to get. Oh, and of course it's not here right now, guys, is it? No, that's a good idea, I think. Yeah. Popsicle. Hmm. Jesus, this is getting nuts. Some of this stuff, isn't it? Holy cow, that was crazy. Um, I think I may have found a good sweet spot for me right now, anyway, that I am loving, frankly. Oh, these are shielded enemies, guys. Sneaky beaky, aren't you? Aren't you? Well, sneaky beaky there. Get me? Oh my god. Dude, I just cannot get over it. Like, every time I look anywhere, I'm like this, because there's just so much. <sighs> you all cannot imagine how badly I want to swear. You son of a. I am frightened. I do this one as well. So homing or double team? Let's do a double team, shall we? Can I break off parts of you, please? I need to get out of there. No. no, go that way again. Oh my god, dude, go up. Go up, go up, get away. Yeah, I know, but I'm not dumb enough to get in there, guys. Am I? I think that's the only way I can kill this thing, frankly. Oh my god, that sucks. What am I doing? I'm panicking. I'm panicking, I'm panicking. But clearly I hit something in there, so... Get in there, baby. Hammer him. Hammer him. Oh my god. My special boy. I have to believe me, you can do this shit. Engage! Can I beat this boss? We are determined to beat this boss. We're gonna be like Huck Finn up in this bitch. Not really like Huck Finn, he's, uh, he's, you know, <laughs> slightly racist. Not cool with that shit. By the way, let me just say, uh, I recently just reread uh, Tom Sawyer. I don't know if any of you have ever had to read Tom Sawyer in school, but holy shit, Huck Finn is a little asshole. Kid like walks into the story, introduced into the story, a children's story, dragging around a dead cat. And I thought it was like I don't recall that shit in that story, but that was just crazy to me. Crazy crazy. And I was like, yeah, well that's clearly how you introduce one of America's literary child heroes with 
a dead cat, and they're like, why do you got that? And he's like, oh, for, uh, for, uh, warts, to get rid of warts. And they're like, well, why would you think it gets rid of warts? And he flat out says, because so-and-so heard it from so-and-so who heard it from N-word down the street. And it's like, dude. Oh, <gasps> guys, we did it. Oh, you mother scratcher. Oh, you bitches, you're all bitches now. Do you see what I just killed? Oh, yeah, let's not get too cocky now, okay? Holy shit, that was awesome. What self drones do? Oh, yes. Sir and or madam, we will definitely take that. Oh my god, this game keeps getting better and better and better. Dude, this may be the best uh, game like this I think I've played yet, guys. Um, when it comes down to a space roguelike, I think the bar may have been raised, frankly. This is. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm awful at these normally. If you've been on this channel, you see it. I feel like that one's kind of an opening or anything to help my shield because I suck with my shield right now. Also, now that I know the round bosses, I want to definitely not be lax on my shield and get the fudge out of that horrible death ray. Christmas came early, baby. Boom. Where is my ally, by the way? Is he dead? Is he dead? Yeah. So we have these pop pop popcorn looking mofos trying to kill me. Uh, yeah, I definitely need that one in quick. That's really to me about juggling certain things. Let's start with this one, making them as strong as me. And when these puppies do get out there. Ah, uh, dude, those missiles are awful. <laughs> it's one of those things where I constantly feel like, holy shit, that sucks. That they, oh, what is that? Well, spinny denny there. Oh, get away from me, you space ass fidget spinners. Get away. Come on, guys. New one else. I just finna jump this time and don't even act. And I'm in the middle of death and hellfire here. Oh my god. Regenerative shields. Uh... Yeah, we need that. As we can see right now, I need that. Oh, no, don't let me die, dude. I've come so far. There we go, baby. There we go. Get him. Good boys, you all got it. Now, I put this one off way too long here, so we're gonna grab the, uh,. It's also nice. Your shield is depleted, explodes, damaging enemies is good. Or targeting, I feel like basic targeting along with homing strike. Uh, let's go with volatile shields, man. As much as I've been eyeing the homing thing, I feel like there's so much they do to your weapon strength. And while it's not as important, Sometimes I feel like I also don't want to negate the total firepower I'm laying down on this 
Nationals either, because I feel like that's got to be important somewhat in space combat, right? Um, so we're going to focus on making my drones and constructs here a little stronger, and the shields, and leaving my missile abilities about where they're at for now. I want to get a much better, I think I just died. Look at that, guys! I went up, oh, baby! Mwah! Got to get another toe breaker. Hyper boost power up. Yes. Challenge mode unlocked. Danger zone. Danger zone! Might unlock rebirth. These are mods in a set gear. We're gonna all spend points. Noise. This may be the first real playthrough I've done of this game, guys, where I get to do that. Anyways, we're going to end it here. Uh, so this is Nova Drift. I think you guys should check this one out. It's a lot of fun. I am Bones. Click the link below as usual. Uh, that will take you to the Steam page where you can pick this gem up. Uh, yeah, I would say this is definitely a buy. You guys saw that. Look at on the left side there. You'll see all the mods I stacked. And, uh, just an amazingly customizable, fast-paced game. Quick, um, easy to get into. I like it. Really dig it. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. We got, uh, sporadic updates are random, but we have them coming. Uh, we have quite a few Let's Play board games with some of these puppies coming up, too. These, uh, if you haven't seen them. I believe Spy will be our first Let's Play board game next. Uh, a print and play game that's free called Slasher. Uh, I think it's Director's Cut, something like that. We'll, we'll see. There's a bunch of stuff. Killer Cut edition of it is. Um, anyways, uh, you all have a great day. Thanks for watching. And uh, comment below what you guys think of this game. Looks cool to me, man. Dig the art. Have a good day.